Well, hello, YouTubers. I'm back and I'm ready to do another gun review. It's been a while since I've done a, uh, a gun review. This one's going to be a, a rifle. What I have here, as you can probably already guess, is a Sig Sauer 716. And this is a patrol version of this rifle. Uh, it's chambered in 7.62 by 51 uh, NATO, uh, NATO caliber. So this SIG 716 is a short stroke gas operated push rod uh, rifle with a rotary bolt mechanism. So what they did is they took the AR-15 style receivers, upper receiver, the whole mechanism, and they, they uh, tried to improve the cycling and fouling and malfunctions and all that good stuff that some rifles have experienced in the past. Not all AR rifles, but I'm saying some. So they tried to improve it with their own unique design. Uh, I think they've done it very successfully. There have been uh, many torture tests done on this rifle and it has performed flawlessly. Um, so that's, that's a great improvement uh, on this uh, AR style design. It comes in weighing about 7.6 pounds. <clears throat> it has a 16 inch bull barrel. 1 in 10 twist. It also comes with a bird cage style um, flash hider. Now this one has a kind of unique feature. This gas valve has four positions. This is the, the valve that uh, allows or controls how much gas is blown back into the chamber to push this push rod to cycle your action. Uh, first position is what I have it, kind of vertical up and down. That's just your regular use. Second one, and you can use this one just by uh, twisting it, so it can only go one way uh, at this point. This is your what I call adverse uh, situations. So when it, you expect fouling, uh, dust, uh, dirt, or whatever coming in. Now to operate a third and fourth positions, you have to push. There's a little push button here. Retention. Okay. Now this one is for your suppressed fire. You must have suppressor equipped. And then the fourth one again is your off uh, position, which means that this. Uh, that turns this rifle into pretty much a single shot, uh, single action uh, rifle. So you, every time you have to cycle a new round. The, the feel of this of this rifle is just just amazing. I mean, the balance. It's not that it's not as heavy as you think for a 308 platform or 762 by 51. Uh, it comes with Magpul OD green furniture, flip up sights. They're really nice sights. Um, I've shot it just a couple of times kind of do the little barrel breaking procedure which I'm going to show probably later. Uh, all the standard features of the AR. Uh, you have your forward assist, I mean, you know, all the same. Just nothing spectacular about that. So it comes with a OD green Magpul furniture. Uh, six position collapsible stock. Really nice. Uh, there are some storage compartments down here and over here for whatever you feel like storing in there. The safety, easy to use. Um, the trigger, uh, I have a little bit of complaint on the trigger. It, it feels a little what you would call creepy. I know I'm a bold, bold gun guy and I and I use too many triggers on my bold guns. Maybe I'm spoiled, I don't know. But this gun just has a little bit of creep that I'm just... It's a single stage. I wish it was double stage. I don't know why it's single stage, but um, if I could improve some things is I'd improve that and I also maybe shave some some weight off of this of this quadrille. Quadrille is nice but yeah I, I, I find quadrilles gimmicky uh, at best. Uh, just for gimmicks, for lights, for whatever. This is a patrol rifle, this is a heavy rifle. You wouldn't use this for close quarter combat if you ever needed to. Um, to attach lasers and flashlights and I don't know um, cookie dispensers, whatever you want to attach to it. I'm more of a um, simple guy. I like simple things on, on, on my rifles and my guns. Only what's truly necessary because I don't like to add weight with, you know, with gimmicks. So that's that on the quadro. I mean, everything feels good. This 1913 rail, man. It's just all the accessories that I put on. I, have, I had a little riser here that I put on and put a scope to see how it's going to go. Uh, UTG riser and then some scope. Everything works fine, clears. Again, you can move these sights wherever you want to. Um, however, I put mine as far as I could to increase my sight radius. That helps. 
we'll see how the gun, the gun behaves. It's only a 16 inch barrel, so we'll see how, but it has a 1 in 10 twist. So that should help with this with these bullets. This rifle also came with this plastic guards that you can slip over a quad rail. So this quad rail makes this into what you would call a free floating, which is pretty much impossible with the piston driven rifles because there is a coupling of your gas block and your action with a piston. However, this is as close as it gets. Uh, cycles very smooth, comes with, uh, with holes for, like you can see on this side, you can put a swivel, uh, sling studs. Um, this one came with the, with the nice little battle sling. It comes with a cleaning kit, a single magazine by Magpul. This is a Magpul version. I wish they'd give you more than that. However, I got two. Uh, I should probably get more. Overall, I, I love the rifle, of course. I mean, what is, what is there not to love? It's a, it's a Sig Sauer, man. And for the price that I got it, you cannot be unhappy. I'm not going to tell you because you're going to ask for the same deal. No, I'm just kidding. So I, I put this little bipod. I mean, nothing spectacular there. So we're just going to, if I shoot off the bench. Excellent rifle, excellent balance. Like I said, I've shot it already before. With iron sights. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the range. We're gonna shoot this bad boy, single shot, double, little burst. Uh, then we're gonna go for a little bit of accuracy. What I have for it is um, 150 grain FMJ Federals. See how that cycles. And I also have a box of my specials, 168 grain Amax. It's gonna Amax is Euromax special here. That's my favorite bullet that I use. Uh, I've used Hornady for a long time and I love them. everything from SST for, for deer hunting to AMAX for target shooting. I haven't tried their GMX or VMX or whatever new gimmicks they came up with, but the ones that I've used and also their uh, 150 grain bow tail soft point. Man, I love that. That just puts deer down like crazy. However, this is not an ammo review, this is a gun review. Feels great, all the controls are just easily accessible, everything works flawlessly. Overall, I love the gun. But what is there not to love? See you at, see you at the range. Hold on. <clears throat> see you at the range. So here we are at the range with our 6716. We did a tabletop review. Now we're gonna do some firing and see how it got, how it does with the recoil. Again, it's only 16 inch barrel, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna fold this, fold this junk up. We're gonna start with some uh, cheapo 150 grainers. going hot. Not a lot of recoil, I gotta tell you that. Even for 308. Thank you. So so it looks like it with even with the 308 does <coughs> it has just maybe a touch more recoil than 556 five, what I've shot. So uh, SIG has done a really good job about balancing this rifle. I like it so far, so let's see if we can sight this gun in. Like right at the edge of the top one. Uh, now you hit at the bottom, good. like on the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Third line, bottom, but you're left and right is perfect. Uh, now you're bottom left. So we're back from the range. As you saw, the SIG 716 performed flawlessly. Even with uh, just hodgepodge of ammo, some cheapos, it was working just fine. Uh, then we did a little sighting action, and then you saw us shooting at the 100 yard, 8 inch target. Which brought up uh, to me a, a com big complaint about this, this particular rifle. Well, it's not about a rifle, it's about a sight. The front post on the side is so thick um, that it just it, it made it kind of tough to actually see the target. So, overall, it's, it's a great rifle. Um, not as much recoil as you'd anticipate out of a 7.62x51 or your 308 round. So that was very good. Uh, everything worked at, 
like it's supposed to, no malfunctions whatsoever. Like I said, there are many torture tests done on this rifle and it works flawlessly. I'm happy. We'll see uh, next time we go. We're going to put some scope on and see how that works. I was able to hit 12-inch um, steel at 300 yards. Uh, I think we hit 3 out of 6. I love the rifle. There are a couple things, like I said, I would change. Maybe a trigger. Um, maybe a trim some more weight with the, with the quad rail. And maybe just some different front posts for the sights, or maybe different sights overall. Other than that, it's a, it's excellent buy. Like I said, we're gonna put a scope on, and then we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.